the time is 10.54 a.m. Good morning. The news headline. President Muhammad Buhari Did the closure of borders by Buhari help in saving Nigeria from trouble? The news in full. President Muhammad Buhari at a bilateral meeting with Mark Root, Prime Minister of the Netherlands in New York, says that Nigeria would have been in serious trouble if it did not close the borders at the times it did. On the economy, the president said that Nigeria took decisions to shut the borders, eat what we grow, and curb smuggling, noting that if that had not been done, we would have been in serious trouble by now. And the writer is asking that, however, did the closure of borders by Buhari help in saving Nigeria from trouble at all? And the writer says that he think that the closing of borders by Buhari uh, was actually a smart move because the closure of borders reduced the rate of smuggling into the country. The closing of borders of Nigeria by Buhari also made Nigerians realize that they could feed themselves without the help of other countries. And finally, Muhammad Buhari has done well as president and his moves to close borders was actually a smart one that has actually uh, paid off, the writer says. And we know that for uh, the president actually met with, uh, actually is actually at the United Nations General Assembly 76th uh, session, uh, a meeting to discuss about the progressive uh, stance of all nations across the world. And um, he actually met a Dutch queen there who is actually appealing uh, to that she should actually invest in Nigeria and then, um, you know, cooperate with them and relax like that. And he was actually uh, talking to the a Dutch queen, illustrating the, the queen of Netherlands, illustrating how he had helped uh, Nigeria survive uh, a whole lot of traumas, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, and why they had to borrow and the likes like that. Then he made a particular point, which this writer is actually addressing too, uh, talking about uh, closing of borders, saying that Nigeria would have been in serious trouble if he didn't close the borders, that he did that so that Nigerians can actually do more of them, um, feeding themselves agriculture and them um, not relying on uh, neighboring countries uh, to survive. And the writer is of the opinion that this was actually a smart move by President Muhammad Buhari because if not for that, there wouldn't have been reduced rates of smuggling into the country and um, Nigerians wouldn't have known that they can actually feed uh, themselves. And this was few things among uh, what President Muhammad Buhari has actually uh, been discussing at the United Nations General Assembly. Also, uh, there are two things specifically that were said by President Muhammad Buhari that has been checked into. And President Muhammad Buhari has asked these world leaders to consider the country for, uh, uh, to consider the country, you know, to have outright calculation of the Nigeria's debt. He says that this could be a great relief for President Muhammad Buhari, considering that the fact that there are pending projects that Buhari needs to channel the money to. He would rather use the money, he will use uh, the money to pay the debt to make Nigeria better if the world leaders agrees to, to cancel the debt. So therefore, he has begged them that they should cancel the debt so that uh, the country can actually have time to focus on uh, many more uh, things that would alleviate poverty in the country. Also, President Mohamed Buhari has promised the UN that he is going to eliminate Boko Haram. He says that uh, there is going to be a tight war between the Nigerian government and the Boko Haram. And it seems that because he has said this before the United Nations, Buhari would always want to fulfill this promise so that they would actually take him serious and see him as somebody with integrity. And this could actually make the security situation in Nigeria uh, better than it is presently because uh, this means that you know, there will be a tight war between the Nigerian government and Boko Haram in the bid to prove uh, President Mohamed Buhari's integrity. Africa's biggest economy is working on a transition to a low-carbon economy in line with achieving the Paris Climate Agreement and Sustainable Development Goals. In these circumstances, we intend to build a climate-resilient economy that effectively aligns with the SDGs and that has great potentials to unlock the full opportunities in different sectors of the economy. While protecting the resources for present and future generations, I know in several ways this is also a familiar story in many countries, he added. And therefore, at home, that is Nigeria, the Senate President Lawan has given uh, the committee one week to consider President Muhammad Buhari's foreign loan. Ahmad Lawan referred at the request of the President Muhammad Buhari to borrow a $4.54 billion dollars uh, 710 million euros and 125 million uh, dollars external loan 
to the Committee on Foreign and Local Debt, he asked the chairman of the committee, Senator Clifford Odia, to work on the request and sub submit its report next Tuesday. Lawan's action followed a motion by the Senate leader Yahya Abdullahi, seconded by the minority leader Ejinaya Abaribe. The Senate had received a formal request from the President last week to consider and approve an external loan to fund projects captured under the 2018-2021 to borrowing plan. In the letter, President Muhammad Buhari said that the projects listed in the 2018-2021 to Federal Government Borrowing Plan were to be financed through sovereign loans from the World Bank, French Development Agency, China Exim Bank, International Fund for Agricultural Development, Credit Suisse Group, and Standard Charter Exports uh, and Credits in total sum of uh, a $4 billion, and also €710 uh, billion, Euros, and a grant of $125 million. Therefore, he said that the amount will be used to fund federal and state government projects across key sectors such as infrastructure, health, agriculture, and food. It also includes security, energy, education, and human capital development and COVID-19 response efforts. In the letter I read, I write in respect of the above subject to submit the attached addendum to the proposed 2018 to 2021 Federal Government External Borrowing Ruling Plan for the consideration and concurrent approval of the Senate for same to become effective. The Senate President may wish to recall that I earlier transmitted a request on the proposed 2018 to 2020 Federal Government External Borrowing Plan for the concurrent approval of the Senate in May 2021. However, in view of other emerging needs and to ensure that all critical projects approved by the Federal Executive Council as of June 2021 are incorporated, I hereby forward an addendum to the proposed borrowing plan. The list uh, the project listed in the addendum to the 2018 to 2021 federal government's external borrowing plan are to be financed through sovereign loans from uh, the uh, World Bank and some other French and China Exim Bank. And the Senate is kindly invited to note that the projects and programs in the borrowing plan were selected based on positive technical economic evaluations and contribution they will make to the socio-economic development of the country including employment generation and poverty reduction, as well as protection of most vulnerable and very poor segments of the Nigerian sector. And the analysis is quite simple, that sequel to the, uh, uh, the borrowing uh, plan of President Momodou Buhari uh, that he has written to the Senate to borrow some money again, uh, given, uh, you know, given that the, the request will be given kind of consideration and concurrent approval by the Senate for the projects that have been listed, you know, for education, poverty alleviation, and the likes like that, in addendum to the 2018 to 2021 federal government external borrowing plan. And um, therefore, President Muhammadu Buhari, which, who is actually at the New York, for the United Nations General Assembly, has also begged the United Nations to cancel the current debt of the country facing uh, challenges uh, due to the COVID-19 and even before the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, saying that there is an urgent need to consider expansion and extension of the debt service suspension initiative to include all developing, least developed countries and small island developing states facing both fiscal, fiscal and um, liquidity challenges, saying that in addition, a review of the eligibility criteria for debt suspension should be including outright cancellation and um, this is needed for countries that are facing the most severe challenges. Thanks for listening. Good morning.